You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Mallory Safaste with your WMAR 2 News update. Family and friends are mourning the life of 23 year old Britran Gray, who was shot and killed Friday morning at a McDonald's drive through. His loved ones are both saddened and outraged. It's something they just can't wrap their heads around. They said he was working the overnight shift at McDonald's when the shooter walked up to the drive through, then shot and killed him. It happened in Gambrels on the 1100 block of Crane Highway. Police think Britran was targeted, but they didn't say why. However, the 23 year old's family and friends say there's no no way he could have been targeted. They say he was not the type to engage in criminal activity. His family is deeply hurt. Shocking is, is not a strong enough word um, to say what happened, uh, especially since there was been there's been a few times and recently where we've had tragedies like this. As if anyone knows anything uh, about this uh, incident, uh, please come forward. Police are still searching for the shooter, but Bertrand's family is calling on the community to support their GoFundMe to put him to rest. You can find that link on our website, WMAR2news.com. A pregnant woman and her child's father killed in a drive-by. Metro Crime Stoppers in the state of Maryland is offering a $16,000 reward to help find who committed the crime. Thursday night, Angel Smith and her fiance, Yamel Montague, were gunned down on East 23rd Street. Angel survived long enough to undergo emergency surgery. Their baby, delivered immediately, is fighting for their life. The couple also leaves behind a one-year-old girl. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Cesar Cornejo here, and as we take a look at what you can expect for your Monday, well, we'll have that warm air still hanging around, upper 70s, low 80s once again. But that means we just have that extra fuel for that severe weather threat. We do have a 3 out of 5, an enhanced threat risk for us, so strong Line winds will be the main concern, but we can't rule out large hail or even a possible brief tornado. Looking at the rest of the seven day after the next few days, it'll be dry back in the 70s. And by the time we get to Thursday, Friday, we start to see a little bit more rain. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for news and weather while you're on the go. Download the WMAR2 News app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Mallory Safaste.